Hi there, it's Babs here from Madam So, and today I'm going to be showing you the seven and five hole um, presser feet for cording. Now these are part of the 32 presser foot set, and the only difference between them is that one has seven holes in the base here, and the other has five. Now I've got the one with five holes all set up on the sewing machine. I'll show you that in detail in a moment, uh, but I can take you through the rest of the foot we have a nice wide gap to allow all the cords to pass through and um, a wide opening here to allow for the width of the zigzag stitch that you'll need to secure all of these cords. It is a clip-on bar foot and we have this slight grooving in the base which allows for the cords to pass through without jamming up the works of your sewing machine and you can see here the uh, the extra spaces for the cords so we have one two three four five six seven so we have seven and five so we've moved in closer and here we have the seven holes in our foot and these I used a standard sewing needle to thread my cords through because it's just too difficult to thread the cords through without using a sewing needle first but the, the hand needle works just fine to to pass the thread through there or the cords through there and so I actually have five set up here one two three four five all going into the holes at the front of the foot now you can see that we definitely need this wide gap to be able to control all of these cords now I've used all the same color purely to make it easier for you to spot the five but you can of course create all sorts of color combinations um, and rainbow effects particularly if you are using the seven hole version so we're just going to set the sewing machine up with a nice wide zigzag set that to full width standard tension and off we go making sure that you don't let the the cords bunch up So remember, when you finish, you need to pull them out the back of the sewing machine. You can't pull them out the front. They are literally threaded through the presser foot. And then snip away what you don't want. And we can see that this is held in place with a lovely zigzag, which gives us that nice embellishment on the top there. I hope that tutorial was useful to you and if so, please subscribe to the Madam So channel for more tutorials and information on the Ultimate Presserfoot set. I'll see you around for the next tutorial. Bye for now.